Hey everyone, welcome back to the toy store. Certainly this is not ominous nor foreboding. But something's gonna happen. What is it gonna be? Actually, they zoom out and look around like smart people. Bunch of components, not bad. Let's go up here. I think there was something I had seen. So looking at the toy store, it's one very big, tall building with a basement. It looks rather complex. However, I don't see any people. Ooh, weapon parts and bullets at the toy store. Sounds like American toy store, if you ask me. All right. So it's very nice being able to actually move at a, at a fast speed. Ah, there is something down here. So until I know what that is, let's be careful. Might be a rat. Might be a soldier. Could be a person. Oh, it's a person. Did I hear somebody downstairs? Is there anybody there? Please help me. Yeah, I'm here. I hid in the basement during the bombardment several days ago. One of the explosions made the ceiling collapse, and I got stuck here. Okay. Is this something we can't do? We have to go broadcast on the radio again? I'm starving and dying of thirst. Please help. Hit in the basement of the toy store, and now he's stuck in there. That would be terrible. Imagine being stuck in the basement of an abandoned toy store. Yep, we have to go back and get someone to help. Look at this little boat. Look at that little tank. Hey, that's a T-34. That's a really big T-34. Imagine having a T-34 to that big. It's like three feet long. I would love to make model tanks and drive them around. Ooh, look at all that wood. Um, if they were that big and they could fight each other and shoot. And this, I believe, is just going to be another way off. Wow. Okay, let's let's drop a whole bunch of these components. And you know what? I want to drop actually all of them here. And my plan is... We're going to try to loot everything else in the toy store. And then bring it all down there. There, If we need components or wood, we can definitely come here. That's for sure. A box with some woman's personal belongings. It looks like woman lived here. Some woman. Is, is that really... <laughs> okay. Well, we now know that some woman lived in the toy store. And there's nothing out here. Wow. Diary that ends with a note from a week ago. It's been really hard since Papa died. It's not easy for a woman alone. I notice how men look at me. Fortunately, I met my school colleague from years ago, and he promised to look after me. A scribbled letter reading. I agree that such a pretty girl would make a valuable asset. Let's make a deal. Bring her to our little establishment, and in return, you'll get some food, smokes, and a free shag once in a while. Well, we've discovered some new intel, apparently. But we have no idea where that is or who that is. And this is looking to be a nice start to an episode. We've looted all kinds of valuable stuff. We have cleared out everything in the entire area. We've got at least one new mission. And we can get back in time. And we've also organized... Oh, is that a... Wait a minute. I had just seen... Sometimes if you click on these things, 
Oh, interesting. So I wonder if we come back here later, if we can then go in and explore that area, because we tipped off the rebels and the rebels came and cleared it out. Very interesting. What do we want to bring back? Uh, that's We could come back here. This is 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 16, 17 inventory slots full of stuff. I suppose we need at least a little bit of wood, so let's grab some of that. And this is looking very nice. This is additionally pure alcohol, which means we can make two more bandages. Fantastic haul. Let's, let's get out of here now and go back. Oh, actually can't go that way. Huh. Usually you can leave the map in two different directions, but not here. All right. Let's see. I believe this is day seven. Uh, let's see if we can get our wound taken care of. And I did remember that we needed to make a knife and go out tonight to the danger zone. Unless something gets in our way. There's a man trapped at the toy store. Tonight, I had a really good haul. It's a pretty good haul, I have to say. Very good work. Very, very good work. She's single, hungry, wounded, and tired. Let's go use the med. Uh, meanwhile, Malik, if you wouldn't mind coming over here, at the end of the last episode, I wanted to check what it takes to make a med, but I remember now it's alcohol, and we can make it. We have two alcohol. I think that's the only use for it. And it's going to take five components and four plants, but we can actually make two of these for ten and eight. We don't necessarily need to do it just now, though, because we can use 30 components to upgrade one of our benches. So maybe I'll do that. We'll get Malik on the horn as we come over here to make sure Esma gets that wound tended to. There we go. It is finally bandaged. That took a very long time. And let's think about this now. Do I want to upgrade the improved bench? More sophisticated items and appliances. Options to get more food or meds. Food is probably our number one thing. And this is cheaper than the other one that allows us to make more items. So we're going to make this. We're going to upgrade our workshop. Not sure if that's a smart idea in the slightest, but that's what we're going to do regardless. We're almost completely out of wood. But I don't want to go back to the toy store tonight. Uh, I want to go someplace new where we might be able to find vegetables and make more efficient meals. All right, there we go. Now that it's upgraded, we can make a guitar. We need a broken guitar first and 10 wood. We can make a sofa, an armchair, apparently. That's a comfortable piece of furniture. Wouldn't be bad. Here's the one I'm looking for. Small trap for animals. This unfortunately requires 10 parts. Had I known it took that much, I wouldn't have bothered with this. We need wood and parts. Parts are going to be the limiting factor there. We've already got an herbal workshop. We already have an herbal garden. Um, we made the moonshine still last episode we have the metal workshop so this didn't really unlock anything unfortunately uh except we could make a trap for animals which is a very good idea especially if you already have you could get the meat for the animals and then turn that into fertilizer and make it into whatever you need but as it is this gives us no additional new options how much does it cost to upgrade again it's 30 components 15 wood five electronics and five parts and this will get us heat lamps and gardens and mixers for herbal workshops or for metal workshops. Uh, garden, heat lamp for garden, that would be nice, but that's not gonna happen. So I think we should go while bandage, we should go rest, get rid of our tired, get rid of our wounded. Let's see what Malik's up to today. New transmission captured. 
All right. Good work, friend. Thanks to your broadcast, we were able to rescue those people at the Central Square. The butchers who held them got what they deserved. Well, we can go back to the Central Square now and maybe have access to that fridge I think that was in there. I don't recall needing anything else to get in there, but... Someone is trapped in the collapsed basement at the toy store. Several people are needed to remove the debris. Someone help him. Yep, yeah, that's all we can do. Get on the horn. And yes, we never did finish the moonshine, unfortunately. I believe once you get it going, you get a timer. It's all coming back to me now. I hope someone reacted to our plea for help and saved that man from the collapsed basement by helping one another re, re retain our humanity. Poor man. I hope someone came to his aid, alone in the dark, without food or water. That would be a horrible way to die. And there it is. Now we do have our timer, and it has started to run before we have our next moonshine. So, should we do anything? Actually, what is the upgrade to the, to the herbal garden? This requires an herbal garden. 30 components, 15 wood, one heat lamp. We can grow vegetables using water and fertilizer. Uh, that would be fantastic. But we need a heat lamp. All right, well, there's nothing else to do here for the rest of today, so I'm just going to pass some time and think what I might want to do uh, before the end of the evening. All right, one hour left. I sat in the bed most of the day. Uh, we have our ability to get moonshine here, so we're going to collect that. I did bring Esma down. You know, I should have just stayed in bed. I did bring her down here to try to make the knife, but we had um, one too few wood components, so we're going to have to risk this and go wherever we can find food. Hope we can find vegetables. And... Maybe there's also some new places opened up. Yes. Uh, there are not any new places, so... We can't get there due to fighting at the toy store. Yes, they're fighting. Ah. The ghost house, they're also fighting there. Okay. We can go back to the gas station, and there is some food. Maybe I should go there to see what happened. The park has just materials. The music club has no food. The central square has no food. The warehouse has huge amounts of food, but it's danger. Should we go to the gas station for some food? Or should we go to the warehouse with huge amounts, but we're going to have to sneak? There's also lots of meds. You know what? We're probably going to have to go to the warehouse twice. Although we are also are wounded, so if we get shot once, that could end the whole game. Let's let's play it semi-safe. We'll go to the gas station, hopefully find a vegetable someplace. And I also want to see what happened after we sent the, the, the rebels here to clear out the military. Uh, I do not remember needing an item. And regardless, we don't have one anyway, because the pickaxe we have to use in our own house when we get a chance, so... Let's just go like this. Now, let me switch to fists. Okay, yeah, we're still basically at 60%, so it doesn't seem like our wound is going up gradually. It might be an all or nothing thing. Oh, there's actually still someone. It could be a rat. Nope. Well, it might be. We don't hear him at all anymore. Ooh, nice. Sugar cubes. We can make more moonshine. Ooh. There's the fridge. That might have been a rat. There was a, a grate here. Forgot about that. 
Then again, I don't think I ever saw that, maybe is what it was. Or I did and I just forgot about it. Either way, come on, vegetable. There's probably plenty of fuel in these crates on the other side of the bars. Hmm. Nope, no vegetable. We just got meat and water. I can't make a saw anyway, so... Lots of nice things in there. Nothing seems to be locked. Unfortunate. Yeah, last time we were here, we ran away in a terror. I don't think we searched like any... Ooh, look at this up there. Truck just stopped right on the top of the highway, falling over. Yeah, we did need one wood. Let's drop off. We can always make water. Water is really not a high value item. At least not for us, because we have a distillery. Interesting. We're so low on wood. Thinking of dropping the gunpowder, because are we really going to need to make bullets? I don't know. We'll see in a minute what they have over here. Soldier's dead body. He was badly beaten and died of multiple nasty wounds. He was either surrendered and lynched or died guarding the supplies. All supplies from the truck are gone. Yeah, well, we didn't get any of them. S several dead civilians with gunshot wounds. All right. Now we just maximize our haul. And I'm th the parts are one of the most important things. The electronic parts are one of the most important things. Weapon parts are pretty rare. Ten water is valuable. One isn't, but ten certainly is something. Herbs are not too shabby. Sugar we can make into moonshine. So it's, you know what? I think we're going to drop off four components and instead bring home two wood. Because that's what we're lacking most of right now. So ideally, today when we go back, we want to make two meals. We're going to have to make individual meals, so not as efficient, but... Better than nothing. We both eat. Hopefully we can rest up and get healed after that. And then maybe dig out the rest of the base. And we can now make our knife as well. And then we can go to the warehouse. Plenty of fuel in the basement at the warehouse. Now we could go there and get that fuel. Or we could give away the note. Oh, we've been raided. Someone came at night to take our things by force. They stole our moonshine, one of our herbal meds, two cigarettes and like a, a rolled up homemade cigarette. Also, Malik got slightly wounded. Someone tried to rob us. It was quite a tough group. So they put up a fight and did some harm. Too bad we had no weapons. Malik was wounded and the attackers walked off with many valuable things. We should put more people on guard. He can't guard is the thing. And Esma has to go out and research. So it seems like we're always just going to have to suffer getting raided and there's nothing we can do about it. But let's first start by making that knife that we're going to use tonight to go hunt for food. Uh, meanwhile, Malik, if you'd get in the horn as usual. There's the knife. Three gun parts, two wood, five. We could make two? Maybe you need a knife for him to guard? I don't think so, though. She can stay home and guard. She just doesn't have any weapons. Maybe we should make two knives? One for him just in case and see. Worst case, we sell it, right? Let's do that. Might be a really, really dumb idea. At least they didn't take very much. Alright, so next up is going to be food. Let's go check what it takes to upgrade the stove. Is 
So this takes one stove, which we have, 20 components, 10 wood, and five components. Allow us to prepare cooked food more efficiently, saving fuel. I don't think that really matters too much. You can always get more fuel. Well, it matters a little bit. The individual meals take five water. This one takes six water. They take one meat, so we'll be all right. We, well, they take two fuel regardless if you cook one or two meals. So we're going to need four fuel if we want to do this right now. And that's going to be four components. That's all right, I suppose. Oh, whoops. Oh, it takes four components to make one fuel. I, now, th I did not realize that. But it takes one wood to make one fuel. Let's make three fuel out of three wood. Alex nearly... Oh, that's some news, he says. A smoke calms me down. He's also slightly wounded. We got a new broadcast. What's it all about, Malik? Well, we're waiting to find out. Let's let's rip this book into fuel, shall we? Current weather forecast. The temperatures are going to drop below zero soon. Bloody hell. We're going to need a stove then, and I think we're going to need wood for it too, but we know there's a lot, at least at the toy store, if we can get there, which we can't currently. The basement of the gas station has plenty of fuel for the stoves. Well, we need fuel for our stove. We also need a stove. Current weather forecast. Overcast in the entire southeast Graznavia is getting colder every day. Make sure you have enough firewood if central heating is unavailable where you live. Let's say that one. I don't know if I want to give away this gas station one because if we can go back I think we're going to give away everything and that's going to be how we play this campaign just give away everything and hope that somehow it comes back to be good for us oh someone is here he has stuff to exchange oh that's right we can we should have made our moonshine i had forgotten about it this requires one of our fuels, so we're going to have to need to burn more if we want to do this then. All right, let's make one more fuel out of four components. Very, very inefficient to do that. Okay, now, one moonshine will take us half an hour, plus four hours to finish it. The trader might still be here then. He does stay there for a while, so I'm pretty sure we have time to do this. And then while that's brewing, let's come over here. I wonder if I should just save the fuel, honestly. It's so much more efficient. And we could just go there tonight. I think I will. Or alternatively, let's go down here and talk to the trader. Maybe he's got a vegetable for us before we waste all of that fuel. Hi, friends. He has no vegetable, but he does have meat. Uh, he's got a lockpick as well, which we don't really need. He has got... Uh, what is this? A mixer. We can use it to mix gunpowder or medicine ingredients. I don't even know what that is. I've never seen that, I don't believe. Let's see if we can do something trading him like a million rolled up cigarettes to see if this would make any difference. Nope, he doesn't have the slightest interest in that. What if we gave him a teddy bear? Won't do. Try harder. If we gave him a knife. Mmm. Not sure I want to do that. <laughs> Since we just got raided. do kind of also want this meat. You know, we don't really need anything that he has, to be honest. Uh, the sugar might be good because we can always turn it into more. So let's actually try to make this deal. So we'll take the sugar. We'll trade him herbs. We've got plenty. We can always grow more. I don't know how many he's going to want. 
Ah, there we go. Not too well. He wanted nine herbs. Okay. Nine herbs, 15 rolled up cigarettes, and one toy bear for a mixer and two sugar cubes. These are apparently the deals we're making. And now I have to figure out what do I do with that mixer? Not sure. Cigarettes consume per day three. We have breaches in our walls. I forget how to patch the walls up. They're used to, oh, I think you have to go to a hole in the wall, like right there or something like that. Um, you know what? We were gonna cook. I think I'm just gonna go into very hungry for two days. Let's come down here and search all of these new zones because there's still some stuff here. Oh, it's locked. I could make a lockpick or we could buy one from the, the trader. There is a guitar, actually. Interesting. And some wood. Let's open this up just to save some time coming back here in the future. Ooh, a baby's carriage. Usually that has like a diamond in it or something like that. And by usually, I mean the one time I've ever seen it. It's possible maybe we can... Yeah, we actually will get our moonshine in a second. Then I can go trade it to him. See if I can make a lockpick. I actually can in half an hour. Okay, let's just make one. Then we'll grab the moonshine. We have a busy, busy, busy day. Meanwhile, Malik's slightly wounded and recovering. This is, here's what we're going to do. Let's have Esma come over here and unlock this. Let's have Malik wake up and grab the moonshine, putting it in our inventory. Then we'll have Esma go talk to the trader, hopefully before he leaves. And we can trade that moonshine almost immediately. She's talking about her son. All right, unlocked. We found a hatchet. We can use it to chop furniture or people. Right after I just made two knives. Ooh. Well, if I can chop fur, look at all the furniture in the house we can chop. This will give us wood. All right, let's go outside and hit the trade button. By the time we get there, Malak should have collected this moonshine. Then again, that's a big if. Nope. He hasn't done it yet. Okay, now he has done it. All right. Let's see what we can do for a moonshine. The one thing I really like from these guys, maybe they nerfed this because it used to be you could buy an infinite amount of components from them. We haven't actually seen any. But I would not mind these are parts. They're pretty rare and very valuable. You can have it for almost nothing on the fuel. Okay, we just had to spend a lot of components. This will save us wood. Wood is very hard to carry, so if we can get wood from this guy, it'd be much more efficient not bringing it back uh, from other areas. And then let's get the meat as well. It won't do, he says. Let's trade him one cigarette. How much is the coffee? Very common still. There we go. Two cigarettes and some moonshine for some raw meat apart and three logs. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Malak, while you're there, can you make more moonshine? Yes, it's going to take us one fuel, but we can make one more. Looks good. And then I wanted to come down here and see about that guitar. Was it? No, it's actually up here. At this point, there are so many things I want to look at, check on. We still have to dig this out and get in here. We can rip up furniture to get all kinds of logs. Malik needs to, to rest. Esma needs to rest. The stove is another thing. So we need 13 components and three, six, four, four logs. We have to get that. Probably tonight and then tomorrow we go out to bring back food because we're going to be very hungry for two days. Additionally, we need eight logs. So we need eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So 12 logs, that's half of our inventory. 
plus 13 components. And I think we can do that at the toy store. And that'll give us enough to make both a guitar and a simple heater. And if we get five and five more after that, we can even build an armchair and have a little bit of rest and relaxation. Not a bad idea. Well, there's a lot going on, that's for sure. Esma's tired. I don't really want to tire her out too much, but at the same time, we're only going to be working for an hour, so let's... Oh, she's tired, actually. She, she doesn't want to work on digging that out. Unfortunate that our moonshine got stolen right before the trader showed up. So we hacked down a, a work or a bookcase. And ooh, four fuel and seven wood. That is exceptional. That is very exceptional. All right, that's the day. Well, at least Malik will have a knife. I don't know if he'll be able to use it. He might not be able to, being disabled, but if he can't, we'll just sell it. We can't go to the toy store where I know we left considerable amounts of items. The music club has lots of parts and some materials. Tomorrow, we're going to the warehouse with a knife. I hope we can just rest all day and heal our wounds finally, a hundred years later. In the gas station, we need a saw for in the park I don't recall there being anything there so it looks like the only real choice is either the music club or back to the central square where there's a huge amount of weapons and lots of materials there was a lot of people there I think the last time some materials lots of materials let's go to the central square tomorrow to the warehouse there's no danger so I'm not going to bring our weapon Although it does look like our axe only has two uses, unfortunately. I didn't realize that. Okay, well, now we know. Let's go. Now, last time there was someone blocking our access right here, and he's gone this time. Looks like he's actually been killed this time. Wait, no. His throat is slit. Someone sneaked behind him and took him by surprise. That looks like a civilian. So, this is where they were before. Yeah, we couldn't come in here before, and now we're free to come in. Ooh, there's people dead everywhere. And this is where everyone was locked up before as well. A thermometer. We can use it to maintain optimum temperature of the heater and save wood. We'll also need to make a distiller if we want to purify alcohol. Amazing. The guard was shot. It looks like it happened too quickly for him to react. The door was broken in to get outside. They got rescued. Thank God someone heard our broadcast. Well, that's good. But... Not sure it helps us too much with the fact that there's very little here. Ooh, there's the fridge. Did we not do this one before, or did we leave it? Yeah, I think we had done that one. Wonderful. There's our components. We need wood more than anything now, though, but if we hack down one more bench, we'll have it. Looks good. That's probably everything, unless we find something of high value. Wow. A whole stack of wood. Do we really need... Two homegrown tobacco. No. Do we really need two more herbs? We've got plenty at home. No. Let's bring as much wood home as we can fit. Mm. 
Nothing. Well, the central square is lit. Something must be blocking it from the other side. Okay. Can we get up here by chance? No. Not that I can see. So I suppose that's it, even though... It's barred from the other side, and we can't get in, and we can't get above, as far as I can tell. Gotta try from the other side. Is there a way to get out down here on the back? I don't think so. So I guess we're done, and we could just run to exit. Awkward. Usually there's always a way to, to get someplace, but apparently not. Hopefully, we're not raided again. We haven't learned anything of note, but we did bring back quite a bit of loot. basically does bring so much every single night. <laughs> uh, she's now very hungry, very tired. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Malik, you alright, buddy? Yes, he's very hungry. We'll get him on the horn here really quickly. And Asma's just gonna have to sleep in the bed now. Until that very tired goes away. We're gonna be very hungry uh, until tonight. Or tomorrow. Tonight we go to the warehouse with a knife and we bring back vegetables come hell or high water. Hey, before we do that, let's go grab this. Did I get two more sugar cubes? I can't remember. Ooh, he found something. Uh, we did not. We only have one. So she can just sleep all day. Malik will check the radio and... That's all he's going to do. And that's that. Alright, decided to make some more rolled up cigarettes. Uh, we're going to make about... Tw you know what? Let's make all of them. There's nothing else to do with the homegrown tobacco. This will leave us at 15 components. It'll take six hours for Malak. Esma just woke up after a full night's sleep. She's 100% alert, and I just realized she's also healed. Uh, so what I want to do now is take a quick look at everything we can build and try to figure out what our next step is. We need the heater, of course, and that's going to... Well, maybe I shouldn't have built those components then, right? We need more components to come back with tonight. It does take a few days until it gets cold. What's the temperature? 41 Fahrenheit 5. Okay, it's getting freezing we should have had it basically tonight already. Uh, we could make the guitar. It takes five ten. That's we have enough. Uh, we would need eight more components. That's pretty easy to get anywhere. I suppose we could, and we could also make this, and then we could just come back with one more giant haul of wood and whatnot tonight and have a nice armchair, but no simple heater. Okay. That's, that's, we need components. I shouldn't have used, made those right away. Oh, wait a minute. Can we cancel it? Yeah, we can. Oh, I didn't realize that. Okay. Let's come up here now, then. And let's craft that simple heater. And then we're going to place it, I would like to place it up here someplace near the bedroom. That makes some sense to me. Right there. Beautiful. And then Malak can at least, he can be the one in charge of putting wood into it. The more things I can give him to do, the better. Uh, and meanwhile, he can come back over here and craft up these rolled cigarettes to the max. It's amazing to me that we've had the ability to dig this out for, what, seven days? And we haven't physically found the time to do it yet. But... We're getting on it. We want to find two vegetables, if possible, tonight. That's our number one goal. Ah, uh, now. Let's, so we just put one fuel in there. 
And that's it's going to start heating up the house so we don't freeze to death. The improved heater, you need the thermometer, which we have, five components, which we have, or five parts, rather, and 20 components. We can actually do that relatively easily to save on fuel. We just need the components, and they're lying around everywhere. So that's a good idea. So components and wood. We need 20 components. That's five stacks. Let's see if we can build an armchair and maybe a guitar. And if bandits show up again, we can play a fiddle for them. And they'll, sure, they're sure to leave us alone. So 25 components. And 30 components, 5 wood. Although we would then need 2 more parts, unfortunately. So we can't do that the way I thought. Alright. Well, since we're going to need food tonight, let's spend a little bit of time digging over here. We won't get tired doing this. It's plus 6 Celsius now in the room because we have our one fuel there. And that's it. I'll try to find some news tonight. Yes, you will at the warehouse where we are going with a knife. Huh, made a little bit of progress. To the warehouse, friends. To the warehouse. There's danger here. Huge amounts of weapons, parts, food, materials, and lots of med. Lots of meds. We're going to bring a stabby stabby. And that's going to do it for today's episode. When's we returning? There would be danger and there would be knives. And we're on the hunt for forgettables. But that's going to have to wait until tomorrow. For now, thanks for watching. And I'll see you soon. Unfortunate that our moonshine got stolen right before the trader showed up. So we hacked down a work or a bookcase. And ooh, four fuel and seven wood. That is exceptional.